fish several times a week. You're getting protein, essential nutrients, omega-3 fatty acids, but there could also be a hidden poison on your plate. KTLA went undercover to see what's really in the fish you're eating. You know him as the hard-driving super agent Ari Gold on HBO's Entourage. As it reminds me of what I might have become, a TV-lit agent in Encino. But in December, an exhausted and disoriented Jeremy Piven said that mercury poisoning forced him to stop working and left him so sick, he feared he'd lose his life. Piven says 20 years of eating fish twice a day allowed mercury to build up in his system, a complaint more common than you might imagine. Hi, doctor. Good. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I was getting a lot of headaches and acne, and I also had a metallic taste in my mouth, and I, I just thought, something's not right. Just over a year ago, Moira Donnelly stopped eating sushi and had four mercury fillings taken out and then started mercury removal treatments. I didn't think I would be as, as high level of mercury as I had. It was way up there. It was in the red zone. In general, I'm just feeling so much better. I think when you have those metals in your body, it's, it just weighs you down. An emergency room physician for over a decade, Dr. Joseph Shabarasi, now practices alternative medicine. Headaches, fatigue, lack of focus, uh, difficulty with recall, memory, concentration. Nope. Uh, there can be gastrointestinal problems, skin yes. problems. Mercury is a chemical element that enters the air and the water from coal burning and other industrial processes. In the ocean, fish consume it, with bigger fish generally having higher concentrations than smaller fish. The Food and Drug Administration says pregnant women and children should not eat fish high in mercury, like swordfish, shark, and mackerel. But FDA toxicologists say for most people, eating fish from your local market or restaurant a few times a week shouldn't pose a problem. Problem. KTLA recently tested fish samples from nine sushi restaurants in five local markets. The sushi was the commonly ordered ahi or tuna. From the grocery store shelves, we tested salmon, shark, and swordfish. Using a technology developed by Mal Wittenberg, a Northern California chemical engineer and the co-owner of Safe Harbor Foods, we learned that while all the fish looked the same, they weren't. Fish that looks of high quality visually is identical to a piece of fish sitting right next to it could have 10 or 20 times as much mercury. The FDA recommends that you eat fish with mercury concentrations of no more than 1.0 parts per million. Most of our tuna samples came in under that limit, but one came in much higher, 1.689 parts per million. Well, that's one piece of fish, but you could test another piece of fish tomorrow and get a completely different reading. That's because from the highest end restaurant in Beverly Hills to the lowest end sushi restaurant in a strip mall, Nobody tests for mercury. Swordfish is known to have high mercury content, and our tests confirm that. Swordfish in all of our samples except one were higher than the recommended level, including one at 4.027 parts per million of mercury. That's more than four times the limit suggested by the FDA. A spokesman told us the FDA does not comment on independent testing, but recommends pregnant women, nursing moms, children, and women who are thinking about becoming pregnant, they shouldn't eat swordfish because it contains high levels of mercury. The FDA also says that the action level of part one per million is set especially low to allow room for error, that most people could eat more than ten times that level and not get sick. The only swordfish below the recommended levels of mercury came from Bristol Farms. Bristol Farms is the only grocery store in Los Angeles that guarantees its fish, marked Safe Harbor, have less mercury than the FDA limits. And the Trade Association for the Seafood Industry says that you don't actually need a special certification to know that your seafood is safe and healthy. We tested sushi just because it's popular. Cooking fish doesn't change the mercury content. If you want to take in less mercury, the FDA recommends that you eat the 10 kinds of seafood known to be low in mercury, including canned light tuna, salmon, and catfish. On our website, ktla.com, we list lots of ways to eat healthy fish and be healthy. We've included a link to a mercury calculator. You can use your computer or your cell phone. Just type in your weight, the kind of fish you want to eat, how much you plan to eat, and you'll find out if it's safe. That and much more on ktla.com. Very interesting.